Hello and welcome to a quick demonstration of the QOL Tools Material Panel. It's a relatively small add-on that's designed to complement the existing material setup in Blender. It primarily gives you an overview of all the materials in the scene and allows for material creation. Um, simply by, obviously, it's, it's a one-click solution basically, um, and that's that's the value of QOL tools. I try wherever possible to, to simplify everyday processes. Now, uh, again, just make a material and that can be repeated again and again using your, your standard repeat key setup. Um, a little tip for you on this front is that you can also just randomly select a mass of, of objects and control click new material and it will give a new material for each object in the scene. One of the things I like to do is use this for, well, basically getting a feel for random different colors and seeing what feels right, what feels, well, basically yes, what feels right for, for the scene in question. Um, don't really worry about cluttering up things too much when you're doing that because purge unused will do exactly that. It will get rid of everything that's not used in the scene anymore. So, um, we have the cleanup option as well. And what that does is uh, if you have an object like this, for example, and th this happens surprisingly often in Blender, is you end up with objects that have a massive amount of unused material still applied to, to it. And this button, cleanup, does exactly that. It removes all of the materials that aren't in the scene anymore. And again, purge unused allows it to get rid of all of those. Should you want to protect any of those materials from getting purged, um, even though they're not being used, obviously you can click the uh, fake user, which is exactly the same as the fake user button in the built-in. The overwrite button, um, which is default to on, will basically blitz anything that, that's in the scene, uh, on the object, sorry. So if you have multiple materials already applied, it will get rid of all of those and, and apply it universally, uh, whatever material you, you have selected to, to add there. Um, one aspect of this that I find massively useful is when looking for everything that has a specific color or a material attached to it, is the grab button, and it will do exactly that. It will grab all the uh, all the objects with that material applied. And again, in the, the vein of material management, obviously everything can be renamed as you like directly within the panel. And it again avoids clutter. The ability to change colors on the fly is very, very useful. And obviously you can just select grab from whatever else you have in the scene. Note that these ones, wherever you see this sort of setup, it means that it's generally not a, what I would call a simple material setup, it's when you get something far more complex. And to understand why that, that is the case, we can select those objects and, well, let's have a look at the shader. And as you see, this is a much, 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 much more complex shader. And that means that the default input is, is just too complex to process for this little setup. But for most of your materials, if it's a simple color setup, you can change it on the fly. By default, it shows up as a, uh, an end panel. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Although I often prefer to use it as a properties panel. So if we go to quality of all life tools here, uh, materials panel. The preferences for your material panel um, allows you to change it to a properties panel. But do note that that will not show up until the next time you start. Let me do that very quickly just so, so we can show you. There we go, we're restarted. And once again, um, in order to, to show the material panel for properties, it's now on the actual properties panel, and as you can see down here. Generally, I like to, to collapse surface when working on it, but you can if need be. You see, drag your tabs to wherever. And this does exactly the same as it would on the an end panel. It just allows you to, to uh, show it here. Um, 
another aspect of that is you have the option of show delete button. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you can customize the interface to, to whatever you prefer. Now, delete button is not on by default because it's, it's a, an odd one to understand in that you can delete materials from the scene. Um, if you delete materials from an object that actively has that material applied to it, Blender puts a, an empty there. And due to the API, it's, it's, it's no, no mean feat just to, to remove that. It will get purged um, in time or as soon as you add uh, any old material back to it, it will fill that slot. Again, generally that, that's not on, it's a bit more of a, an advanced usage for you. Um, we have the show grab and show fake user stuff. Again, these are all um, just, just so that you can customize the interfaces as you prefer. And well, <laughs> I think that's, that's it really for uh, Material Panel. I hope you like it. Bye-bye.